the army is uh, no now. So I'm just going to pick up his gun. And I guess without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, everybody. It's Chris Do It. And I'm aware we're in a different spot. It's because last time my game crashed and bad things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, please. I don't think I have any ammo, actually. Yeah, so I feel very good about that. And this glitch is still happening where I just keep sprinting. There's ammo in here, but can I break through the window? Yeah. But can I go in is an entirely different question. I don't think so. Can't call the elevator. But it's like just right in that room over here. Ah, here we go. Power, it's like right behind there. That's bad. Can I like go up this? This looks like something I would be able to go up. But no. Alright, well, either way, we got some revolver ammo. Kind of a terrible shot. Oh, this is the room with the other ammo. There, now we've got a bit of pistol ammo. That'll help us get through those turrets, because I know that they like to kill me. So we'll just let it load here. And hopefully get past. Yeah, the other episode that I recorded, but then things started crashing and going terrible, and files were corrupting. It wasn't that entertaining. Alright, carefully. Did I kill it? Better unload my entire clip. Yep, looks like it's dead. Yeah, we killed it. Good. Very good. Um, what is my hotkeys? Let me just save this right now and options keyboard um <laughs> f6 okay good to know good to know these are the things we need to know uh uh get wrecked freaking nerd yeah this one's an explosive so i don't want to touch that um I won't question that, because free kills, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. Can I get in this room? I don't know what this is about this glitch. It really bothers me, though, because I don't like just hearing the whoosh sound every time I stop and start moving. So if any of you guys have any idea how to fix this, that would be much appreciated. Oh God! What are you still doing down here? Get topside. I'm going. I'm going, man. Coming in to save us. Um, that doesn't bode well. Yeah. See, after they do the first shot, they don't do anything. Uh, this game is still really new like I haven't heard anything about this and I like to keep myself up to date when it comes to things like Half-Life because as you can tell I love this kind of game well I've never really played this one but I loved the original Half-Life and Half-Life 2 that's why I still have it as a series because I think it's just a really cool concept like, the game itself doesn't do anything new. You know, aside from the um, gravity gun, but the whole concept with it tying in Portal 2, I just think that that's a really nice touch. Oh, his jaw's hanging well, and it's wobbling to and fro. 
Although I'm not sure if I could tie it in a knot or a bow, to be honest. Although, I wouldn't really try. Let's see, what did it say? It said something about snacks, so I'm concerned. Feeling peckish? Yes. Oh, enjoy snacks. Ah, here we go. Because I know in the first game, you could just knock down some of the snacks if you just hit the little window. Like, it's an absolutely pointless touch, but <laughs> yeah, see, like, all of the soda. What's weird is it all falls out into the same exact position. Alright, now let's continue on and quit messing around here. <clears throat> yeah, so I've been busy. Like, I'm currently trying to get a job, which is a lot harder than you'd think, especially because I'm, um, 16. A lot of places don't want to hire miners. I remember this place from the first game. Run! I'll protect you. Can I, like, shut this? No? Well, I can just kill the guys that were chasing her. Yeah, I just remember that in the original game, there's like one area where you could actually see the G-Man in here. And I was like, oh, fancy. And if you guys don't know what he is, he's like this weird interdimensional being. And he's pretty much the whole reason why we were on the train in the first place in Half-Life 2. Because he decided after this incident that we're going through right now, that it was time to call on us again to do something for him. Although what it was isn't really clear. And also the Vortigons, which are the aliens that we're fighting, they seem to have like a great deal of respect for me and fear him. Because in um, episode 2 part 1, so that's like after Half-Life 2, Keep in mind. Um, what happens is they like come in and save me and kind of trap the G-Man. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that leads me to believe that he is not something that we want to trust. Um, where's the thingy? All right, so it looks like we're gonna need um one of the hooks or wheels or whatever they're at. there this thing uh we'll kill that guy later ooh dodged nice nice Stop. Stop. okay and we'll just spin this open sesame or move that meat hook oh yeah move that big juicy hook full of meat Alright, what did that do for me, though? Oh, that... Wait, no, I need to move it back. I need to move it to, like, right here. Is that good? Maybe, like, a little bit. Yeah, like, right there. Uh, that's bad in the other direction. We'll just tap it once. No. Yes, that is actually like the perfect spot right there. Um, let's see. So I came through here. I broke down something, which I think is essentially like a checkpoint. Yeah, right here. And now we can just continue on this way. And where I'm supposed to go, nobody knows. Oh, well, I guess this is kind of obvious. A little bit straightforward. You know, just straight through all the tunnels. Because that wouldn't be obvious enough. I need someone to point exactly where I go. You're not tricking me this time. 
I will take that shield and some extra ammo for this gun. Yeah, we're getting, like, no ammo. But later on, I think we're going to be doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside. Um, yeah, there's that one. See, this is why the revolver is so good. It's a one-hit kill. Even though it holds next to no ammo, and fire is not something that I like, which I could probably have just turned out using it. Oh, everything's exploding. And I'm covered in goop. Well, that was convenient. I probably shouldn't be wasting the ammo, but I just feel so much more confident with this one because of the one-hit kill factor. Although this one's nice against, like, groups of really weak enemies. Because then I can just spray. Okay, so we can drop down here. Good Startled you Freeman. Quite a scare. Ooh, Don't wait a minute. The cavalry, us down this here. guy might be Eli. We gotta head for the surface. So but in Half-Life 2, oh, we have to... Or we actually talk with this we guy. Still climb. I think. If this guy is Eli. Let me get out of your way, Doc. Yeah, that's right. Nerd. But this guy... If he is who I think he is, he's actually in the Half-Life 2 series. Aim for the head. Where is it? It's the thingy. Stop. 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 Yeah, I just think it's cool that all these games overlap. And they did it rather seamlessly. Like, I mean, it doesn't make it obvious that these games overlap. Like, I mean, especially between Half-Life and, um, what's it called? Portal. But in Portal, if you look in some of the little boardrooms to the sides, you can actually see them discussing how their finances... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Brains. Yeah, see, like, little details like this make this game much better than the other one. Alright, so we're gonna need to make this jump, but as I was saying, so I don't get sidetracked by everything, oh, um, if you look in the little board meeting rooms on the side of certain test tracks, you can actually see them referring to Black Mesa and saying how their finances are much better and how their success has been better than Black Mesa's. And in case you couldn't tell by the name of the game, oh, we are playing through Black Mesa. Like we are literally inside of Black Mesa. And this may or may not be true, but I've hypothesized that the Resonance Cascade, which we started at the beginning of the game, might possibly be the reason why um, everything went wrong in the end of Portal and Portal 2. Or, and the beginning of Portal 2. Like, why we as Chell were sleeping for millions of years, potentially. And I know this is just my own thoughts and me rambling, but that's kind of what I think is going on. We're doomed! Alright, so I'm just gonna um, charge up here, get to the next safe zone, and then end it here. Can't get through there. Oh, that was convenient. I probably should have realized what I was doing. Can I shoot these? Shoot that side. That side. I can't shoot these. Ah, that's what I do. 
Okay. These guys are like the um, other crits from the original one, except if you just hit her from Half-Life 2. Except if you just hit them, they fall over. Alright, we got some grenades. Looks like the army is here to help us. So that's a plus. We'll just pop one of those bad boys over there. I think we got a head crab that was back there. Alright. You should be clear. Um, I don't like the look of that. Auto fire. Ba 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 ba. Then just single fire to take them out. Because I'm not panicking anymore. Can these. Yeah, these ones I can shoot. Ooh. I didn't even realize that that was going to explode. Stop. Alright. Let's get some set back. Gimme. I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure in the original game, sodas would refill your health. Ah, come on. I hit all of those shots. Well, now these guys definitely aren't glitching out. Are there any, like, Weapons. Yeah, weapons. Or ammo, I should say. Hmm. <laughs> Guess we're gonna go down here. Um, just gonna blow that one up. So that way we don't have to deal with it. Can't send this down. Vents clogged. Yeah, battle. And we killed everyone. Beautiful. I've never actually made it this far. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. In this game, I've never made it this far. In the original Half-Life, I think... Yeah, I made it almost to the end. Oh, jeez. Why am I sliding? Ah, Jesus! Run! Okay, good. Well, we made it past that at least, so... I guess I will... Quick save here. Yeah. Um, I wasn't paying attention, and I guess these guys died, but okay. Great. Oh, that's right, there was, like, a bomb there. Oh, look, did you see him? If you roll back the video, like, just a few seconds ago, G-Man was, like, right up there. Oh, yeah, he's grabbing his booty. Oh, yeah. He likes it. Well, I'll take what I can get. What should I call the robot voice? Whenever I hear her, I think of either GLaDOS or Karen. Karen being Plankton's wife. Ooh, this is good. It's an ammo crate, I believe. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. I'm sorry. But let's see. Um. Battery. Could I just, like, stick this on me? Ah, uh, no. I knew it was too good to be true. Don't do it, man. Um, I will just kaboosh. Can I, like, drop this on him? No? Okay. Well, yeah, that's why the army is a no-no. So I'm just going to pick up his gun. And I guess without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next one.